Digestion and Absorption of Lipids Introduction The process of fat digestion begins by the generation of a suspension of fat in water, known as an emulsion. Dietary lipids, consisting mostly of triglycerides, must be emulsified to expose a large surface area to lipolytic enzymes. Emulsification begins in the upper gastrointestinal tract through mastication and gastric mixing. Fat hydrolysis begins by the actions of lingual lipase, which is secreted from von Ebner's glands near the circumvallate papillae, and gastric lipase, which is secreted by gastric sheath cells of the fundic mucosa in the stomach. Free fatty acids released by gastric lipolysis contribute to stimulating the secretion of pancreatic lipase and colipase. The entry of gastric hydrogen ions into the duodenum stimulates the release of secretin, which enhances pancreatic bicarbonate secretion. This raises the intraluminal pH to approximately 6.5, which is optimal for fat digestion. Note. Diseases that substantially decrease duodenal pH, such as Zollinger-Ellison syndrome, can selectively inhibit fat absorption. Major portion of the fat emulsification takes place in duodenum. Bile from the gallbladder is introduced into the second part of the duodenum. Bile acts as a detergent with a hydrophilic head and a hydrophobic core that allows the bile to emulsify the fat droplets within the aqueous gastric fluid called chyme. This increases the surface area and in turn increases the efficiency of lipase to digest the fat into tiny droplets. Bile is a very important component in absorbing dietary fat. Any defect or pathology in producing bile or delivering it to the small intestine would result in an accumulation of large droplets of fat that could not be easily digested for absorption. Therefore, a patient might present with fatty stool and deficiency of the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K. Pancreatic lipase and colipase are responsible for most of the lipid hydrolysis. Dietary and biliary phospholipids and cholesterol are further hydrolyzed by the action of phospholipase A2 and pancreatic cholesterol esterase. The resulting mixture is a complex soup of lipolytic products. These products, along with other lipids and fat-soluble vitamins, are mixed with bile salts, forming small aggregates known as missiles or larger aggregates known as liposomes. This is called the bulking phase, which happens in the lumen of the small intestine before absorption occurs. Absorption Most of the dietary lipids are absorbed in the proximal two-thirds of the jejunum. Absorption is influenced by various factors, such as types of dietary lipids consumed in the presence of other ingested nutrients. In normal children and adults, more than 94% of dietary fat is absorbed, although healthy neonates may absorb as little as 85%. Absorption of fats and lipids can occur in two modes, simple diffusion or carrier-mediated transport. Simple diffusion. When mist cells release their fatty contents, smaller molecules such as glycerol, short-chain fatty acids, and medium-chain fatty acids are transported across the apical membrane by simple diffusion. There is no packaging mechanism, as we'll see is the case with large-chain fatty acids involving chylomicron formation. The smaller molecules will be readily absorbed into the enterocyte and then traverse the cytoplasm of the enterocyte and finally diffuse across the basolateral membrane. Once in the interstitial space, they are rapidly pulled into the nearby blood capillaries and released to the hepatic portal vein to become part of the portal circulation. It then enters the general circulation and binds to albumin. Carrier-mediated transport. In the protein-dependent mechanism, multiple carrier proteins trigger engulfment of the missile. Two such carrier proteins are the fatty acid transport protein 4 and caviolin 1. This is the main method for transporting long-chain fatty acids and involves the formation of chylomicrons, which are composed of triacylglycerols, phospholipids, and cholesterol esters. Once inside the enterocyte, the goal is to form a chylomicron that will be passed into the lymph. Once long-chain fatty acids are in the enterocytes, they're taken up by the chylomicrons in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum 
encoded in apolipoproteins B48 that were made in the rough endoplasmic reticulum. These chylomicrons move to the Golgi apparatus to have a carbohydrate added to the protein shell before budding off and entering the interstitial space after fusing with the basolateral membrane. Chylomicrons are large molecules, so they enter lymphatic capillaries, pass through the thoracic duct, and reach the bloodstream. This is ultimately the fate of large-chain fatty acids and cholesterols that were digested in the gastrointestinal tract, 